Hey, welcome back to God's Holiness by Seppy Sky. Today we're gonna be doing oat milk soup bar using goat milk. Here we go. All right. Uh, if you're wondering, like, uh, where's the portion size and ingredients, if you watch until the end of the video, you will get all of that information in jazz. All right. Let's get into it. A lot of these ingredients I did um, pick up at my local store, or I ordered it off of Amazon. Uh, if you want me to do a link to what I ordered, I definitely will do that. But for right now, you'll just see what you just see. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to show everybody uh, the ingredients up front. Again, the portion size and everything will be at the end of the video. So buckle up your seatbelt, folks, and stay tuned for that until the end. <laughs> All right. Let's just enjoy the video for right now. As you can see right here, folks, this is an aloe vera leaf. Uh, <laughs> you can grow these on your own. I bought this in the store, but I would recommend trying to buy a plant. And I will be doing that in the near future, folks. And I will be showing the process of how it lives or dies. <laughs> Look at that gooey ooey aloe vera. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I just used regular oats that was lying around. You can use any oats that you want, still cut oats or whatever, man. Just whatever you got lying around. Um, and you can make this oat milk soap bar. Oat milk soap bar. We will be back, folks, for our regular scheduled informative training on oatmeal soap bar diy but right now let's take a short break and watch this fat cat all right fat cat her focus is intact her viciousness is coming out as she rips apart the screen she looks at me i'll kill you too i'll kill all Well, now back to our regular uh, informative video. I also use ground cinnamon. And if you don't know what this is, I bought this in Amsterdam. And that is black seed oil. Black seed oil from Amsterdam. Yes. In my silicone trays. Now, I didn't show you. After I took the, uh, the glass container off of the stove of it melting, the goat milk soup, I just poured and mixed all the ingredients in there together and I added lavender flour and I added yeah that and then now here's how the soap looks uh yeah it smells good it feels great on your skin uh but I will say it does dry out my skin so I use shea shea moisture or shea butter to uh, <laughs> add moisture to it and that's about it that's how you make it and that's how it's done all right i will leave all the ingredients at the end thank you for watching <laughs>